Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Roush High Flow Lower Grill for 2018 GT and EcoBoost Mustangs. This is going to be a good option for really anyone looking for a lower grill for the 2018 Mustang. It offers a big change in style and it also improves airflow. It's going to improve airflow because it has a larger opening here than your factory grill does and that makes it a very viable option for those high performance 2018s out there that are looking to improve cooling or maybe even get some air to an intercooler. This is made from a TPO material so it's lightweight but also strong and durable and it has a grainy black textured finish which means that it's going to match your other factory trim. Now this does require the Roush chin spoiler and wheel shroud kit in order to be installed so just keep that in mind. The lower grill costs about $240 and as far as the install I'll call it a two out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter because you do have to pull the front fascia and you will need to install this chin spoiler which does mean some drilling and a little bit of modification. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and show you how to get this on the car. Alright guys, since we are installing the lower grill paired with the chin spoiler and a wheel shroud kit, we're going to go ahead and remove both front wheels first as our first step. Alright guys, the next step is going to be to remove some of the push pins that are in our wheel liner here. So we're going to go ahead and use a pry tool and remove some of the push pins. There are eight push pins on our rad cover that we're going to take out now. All right, after those are removed, we can go ahead and lift this off. There are six eight millimeter bolts in the top of the bumper here. We'll go ahead, undo those, and then at the end, there are two seven thirty second small bolts at the very edges, and we'll go ahead and undo those too. All Alright guys, there are two 10 millimeter nuts in that we're going to undo next that are holding the bumper in place. They're separated by a Christmas tree. There are a couple different ways that you can get to them. You can get to them through the wheel well or you can go through the top in between the frame like I'm doing now. It's really going to be up to you. So we'll remove the nuts for now and we'll leave the Christmas tree clips clipped in until we go underneath the car and remove our splash shield. All right guys, now we're gonna remove the splash shield from underneath the car. There are two push pins, we'll grab those first and then you have a couple seven millimeter bolts to get as well.
All right, now we're gonna disconnect our turn signal. So we'll go ahead and find our electrical connection. There's a tab on the top, push down on the tab, and disconnect. We'll do the same thing for both sides. All right, guys, now you're ready to remove your bumper. I have a second set of hands. I have Joe here helping me. It's probably gonna be easier if you guys have someone helping you as well. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pull down the corner. You have that Christmas tree clip holding this in place. All right, and now you have dowels on the front. So you'll lift off the dowels in the front and then set your bumper somewhere safe. All right, guys, now we're gonna remove the three seven millimeter nuts that are holding each turn signal and fog light in place. All right, so now we can remove the assembly. All right, guys, now we need to remove this plastic energy absorber from the bumper. So there are six tabs holding this in place. So we'll go ahead, pry up on the tabs and remove this. All right, so the next step is going to be to remove the lower grill, which is also held in by the same type of tabs. Now, I do have Joe helping me here with this just to make it go a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna pry back on the tab. All right, guys, now we're gonna remove the front chin spoiler from the fascia. There are six push pins, three on each side, and then there are also seven millimeter nuts that are holding the chin spoiler in place. All right guys, so at this point, we are getting our lower grill ready for install into our front fascia. We have five strips of 3M tape here. We are gonna use the 3M tape. I do have the tab bent over. I am going to put all five pieces on the bottom of the lower grill here. I need to make sure that the tab is facing outward though, so once we install this, we'll be able to pull the tab and have the adhesive side stick to the bottom of our front fascia. So we're gonna peel the white backing off You always want to make sure that you have clean surfaces when you're applying 3M tape. That means both on the back of this grill and on the lower front fascia. All right, guys, now we're going to clip the grill into place. This is a little bit tricky. We're going to do it from the front. We have to go in at an angle, and I still have Joe here helping me. All right, so basically we're using the plastic tabs that are on the bumper and we're getting them in place on the top of the grill now. All right, now we're gonna pull the backing off the 3M tape and what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're holding the lower fascia onto your grill here so you have a good adhesion between the 3M tape.
All right, guys, so at this point, Joe and I have the lower front grill in place, but in order to finish the install of the lower grill, you need to install the Roush chin spoiler. These parts go hand in hand. So Joe and I have a few more things we have to wrap up on the chin spoiler before we get the front fascia back on the car. All right guys, so you get your front fascia back on, bolt it down into place, then you'll get your canards on either side, and the last thing that you'll do is a graphic that Roush gives you for out front. Okay guys, with the front fascia hanging, our bracketry all tightened down and completely taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect our fog lights and turn signals and then get the belly pan in place. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this review and install. Keep in mind that you can always check this out more online right here at AmericanMuscle.com.